coming to you from our GIS studios, I am Alicia Antoine and this is your Midday News Brief. The government of St. Lucia have answered the call of residents of Derado who have been in need of a community centre. The Derado Community Centre has been in a state of dilapidation for over 10 years, impeding on the community's ability to advance its human resource capacity. Parliamentary representative for Ancillary Canaries, Honourable Dominique Fede, stated that the newly renovated centre will aid the objective of executing training as an intervention for increase in social ills. The minister also expressed gratitude to the government of the Republic of China, Taiwan, for their continuous support. The project, which was funded via the Constituency Development Programme, was a complete renovation of the building to the tune of $325,000. 19 contractors from the surrounding community were given opportunities to work on the project. The Ambassador of the Republic of China, Taiwan to St. Lucia, His Excellency Douglas Shen, noted that over 25,000 working opportunities have been created under the CDP. The opening ceremony took place on Sunday, July 28, 2019. The Ministry of Education, Innovation, Gender Relations and Sustainable Development has been armed to ensure safer schools. The Model Safe School Program MSSP, is designed to assist participating states with implementing processes that result in safer and greener educational facilities. Project Coordinator for the Implementation of the Model Safe School Program in the Caribbean, Kerry Ann Thompson, explained that staff of the Ministry of Education were being trained in the use of an electronic application that facilitates the collection of data on the assessment of schools. The Model Safe School Program, MSSP, and Toolkit for the Caribbean was endorsed by the Caribbean Disaster Emergency Management Agency, Sidema Council, in 2015 as the vehicle through which the region would address school safety. St. Lucia has been approved for the implementation of an agriculture project from the Adaptation Fund. As the designated national authority to the Adaptation Fund, the Department of Sustainable Development in 2014 began efforts at improving resilience at a country level. Chief Sustainable Development and Environment Officer in the Department of Sustainable Development says some US $9.8 million has been approved through the Adaptation Fund for the project. The project is being implemented through a project management unit at the Ministry of Agriculture and will be supported by the Department of Sustainable Development. Chief Extension Officer in the Ministry of Agriculture, Kemuel Jabatis, says the project will help farmers build resilience to adopt and adapt various technological advances in the agricultural sector. The project is expected to last up to five years. This has been your Midday News Brief. Thank you for watching.